finally the Yu-Gi-Oh ban list is out. We were promised August end and they literally meant the end of August, like the very end, very last moment of August. This is where it will look like if a Yu-Gi noob like myself looked at the ban list and tried to understand what was going on. So let's get into it. We're on Master Duel Meta and we got the ban list in front of us. We're going to go down one by one. Just a fair warning. I'm not going to understand what most of these cards do or where they're from. I'm just only going to remember them from like parts of decks that people actually used against me and some decks that I might have used myself. But yeah, let's Let's look at this forbidden list from a Yugi noob's perspective. We got the list up and already newly unlimited Armageddon Knight. I didn't even know that was limited. For example, have no idea what this card does. When this card is summoned, you can send one Dark Master from your deck to your graveyard. It means nothing to me. It was at two, but now it's at three, apparently. Red Rose Dragon from one to three. No idea where this card's from either. Most of this video is going to be like this. I'm only going to know a few specific cards. I thought that this would be something different from all those people who know a lot about this game and know what every card does and what every deck does. I'm sure there's some of you, like me, who don't know shit and want to know shit about this game. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm yapping too much. Let's carry on. Magiceptor Unicorn Kirin. It was at one, now it's at three. I go too fast. Perform Mage Plush Fire. No idea again. Again, it went from zero to three though so it must have taken like it must have got nerfed somehow i think it got errated so the card effects changed or something no idea as well ancient fairy dragon some of these are gonna surprise you that i don't know these cards this went from one to three i'm more into like what got banned because i know there's a few there's a few decks that need to get banned we got you bell that needs to get hit right now and we also have fiend smith snake eyes that need to get hit asap so deng long first of the yang zing is now at three from one. Never seen this card played before. Maybe because it was at one. Time seal. Time seal is back at three. Skip the draw phase of your opponent's next turn. That would be good against Snake Eyes, I am guessing. With time seal, you set time seal, and then the first turn that your opponent has, they've already got their draw turn, so it would only delay their fourth turn. So you just have to keep setting after that. But the second turn, they still get their second turn, so they still have a chance to play. So it being back at three, I don't know how much it's gonna affect the meta right now. It is what it is. Again, I don't even know what I'm talking about. About. I might be talking some truth here, I might not. Let's continue. All right, so we're looking at the newly semi-limited ones. Blast the Dragon Ruler of Infernos, one to two. Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders, one to two as well. So the Dragon Rulers are getting semi-limited. They were both limited, so dragons are getting a buff again. That's nice to see. Dragon Rulers of the Storm. Dragon Rulers of the Storm sounds like a rock band. Dragon Ruler of the Storms is now two as well. So they've upped uh, most of the Dragon Rulers from limited to semi-limited. We're going to see some dragon buffs. Tidal Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, the same. Lunar Light tiger one to two thunder dragon colossus oh no 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 we don't need spoilers thunder dragon colossus is now at two isn't this the one with thunder dragon yeah okay so now it's at two damn is wild chalice even good this was at one now it's at two i didn't even know wild chalice was a viable deck so now let's look at the newly limited card let's see what actually got hit these are the important cards because these these are the cards that concern us we want to see the meta get hit because it's just the same thing over and over again i'm tired of facing you bells i'm tired of facing fucking fiend smith snake eyes just give me something good that's going to disrupt their peace. Ava's zero to one. No idea what that means. Snake Eyes Ash from three to one. Okay, so we actually seen some Snake Eyes get hit. I'm not sure if limiting them to one, it's probably going to ruin their consistency. So that's good. Snake Eyes Poplar three to one as well. Okay, number 40 gimmick puppet of strings. So we've seen Snake Eyes get hit from three to one. They're not fully banned, but it's going to decrease their consistency, which is going to make them less viable than they are now, which is always a good thing. So not bad, not bad. I want to see some Ubel in here. Maybe Spirit of the Ubel or maybe some other cards that are in that deck that causes problems now number 40 gimmick puppet of strings no idea and another gimmick puppet of strings goes from three to one as well i have no idea in which deck they're both used in branded fusion from three to one i mean some people are happy i'm pretty sure there's a lot of cheering going on right now i use branded in my deck with tri brigades however i only use one branded fusion anyway should i have been using three is like i know it's a very op card you can still pop off with the combo with just one you don't really need three in your deck especially if you're just running it as a side engine in one of your decks but three to one that's probably not branded a lot can't imagine like having a main engine branding deck and just having this card three times just using it three times a really annoying card now moving on opening of the spirit gates okay there we go three to one i don't know if that's going to be enough i need more to actually see you bell get hit because i think this card is still enough for them to pop off and if you control one level 10 monster there are still viable level 10 monsters in the game like cheng ying the new icebreakers so many that we could actually still use so um moving on hopefully we see more uh you bell decks get hit because that needs to be nerfed asap i mean that's from my point of view i don't know some of you Yu -Gi -Oh masters might not care too much about it but from my point of view from being the noob i am like that needs to get hit okay 
Maybe there's ways to out it, maybe not. I don't know. But this is my perspective. Pot of Prosperity from 3 to 1. Okay. So that deals with... Um, oh, I forget what deck it was, but it deals with one of the decks. <laughs> Pot of Prosperity from 3 to 1 is actually kind of broken. Because it's pretty much a search any card from your deck card. And having 3 of those made some of these decks really strong. Just keep using it and just finding more cards. You keep using it and draw more cards from their decks. And just basically having the full engine of their decks viable to them at all times. Made it broken. So bringing Pot of Prosperity 1 is actually a good hit. Sangen Summoning... So Tempai is getting hit. I don't know much about Tempai decks, but I know that this card is um, used in the Tempai decks. Uh, it's getting hit from 3 to 1, so it's just limited. I don't know if it's still going to be viable for them. I don't know if it's going to be anything for them. I don't know. Like, we move on. My Yugi knowledge is low. That grass looks greener. First time I've heard that card, but it's going from 0 to 1. I have no idea which deck that comes from. Yeah, people who use this card, it's now at 1. Skill Drain. Ooh, from 3 to 1. I use this card a lot in my Eldritch deck. I don't know if this is just the Eldritch hit or if any other decks use this card because I haven't seen it used much unless I'm playing up against a Eldritch deck which floodgates the whole field. It is kind of like a Solemn Judgment kind of card where you just pay life points. Life points are resources anyway and it just negates the effects of all face-up monsters while they're face-up on the field. Like It's a very, very good card and it being hit to one is going to affect most decks that actually use this card because having one of this... And then if you out this card, that just makes most of the Floodgate decks not viable anymore. If you're able to out it once, you might not be able to out it twice. You use your resources to out it one time. And now you're good because you only have one to deal with. And now we're going into the Forbidden section. Now this, this is where we want to see the actual hits happening. Where we want to see the bans on Snake Eyes or Fiendsmiths or Ubel. Like, I keep talking about these two decks because they're the ones that cause me problems the most. And I'm sure it causes problems for everyone else as well. Alright, so let's go. First things first. Fiendsmith Lacrimar or Lacrimar. 3 to 0. Okay, Fiendsmith is getting hit as well. Straight to 0. I think this card was the one that inflicts damage once you send it to the graveyard. Yeah, and then they could just keep doing it over and over again and it was really annoying or something like that. I don't know, I haven't played against Fiendsmiths, but I know this card was important for them. So that's getting banned immediately. We're getting some Fiendsmith hits. Okay. A Pollusia, Bow of Goddess. Ooh. Okay. Now, I think... Like, end turn um, cards. I used it in my Tri Brigade deck at 1. It was only very situational for me when I used it in my deck. And I did have it in my deck list. So, you guys, if you watch my Tri Brigade budget deck list, a Pollusia was in it. You're going to have to find another alternative to a Pollusia. But a Pollusia was very situational for me. I guess it was very strong in these other decks that just helped to negate opponents' effects and stuff. But seeing a Pollusia go, Apollo USA... It's been there for me. I've changed my deck so many times and Apollusia was just always there in my extra deck. I guess it's not now. It's been banned. It's been forbidden. Now we can't use Apollusia. So we are going to have to cry about it and move on. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. I don't know if this card was good. I've never been, I've never seen it being used before, but now that's been hit as well. Beatrice Lady of the Eternal. Ooh, is that, is that all the forbidden cards? Damn. Okay, nothing is safe, I guess. Beatrice Lady of the Eternal is not safe. Where are the Ubel hits? Is it just the field spell? Full changes. Oh, damn, it is. Hmm. I was expecting at least the Spirit of Ubel to be hit. I was expecting a few more cards to be hit. I certainly wasn't expecting a Pollusia to be hit, and maybe that's because I don't know nothing about the game. Seeing Snake Eye consistency get hit is good. Seeing, I guess, the Ubel just one piece of opening of the Spirit Gates get hit is good. Pot of Prosperity being hit to one. Just all these other cards. Is there anything that's going to affect me? Probably not, unless... Oh, the Pollusia, yeah. So that's an interesting ban list. Let me know if you're happy with the ban list in the comment section down below. This was just a POV into a Yugi Noob's look at the changes and the ban list and how we actually see these things since most of you actually know the game very well and very detailed and know almost every card or at least the main cards that's popping off right now and especially the memes etc blah 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 but this is a different take on the ban list it's just me going i don't know this i don't know this i don't know this and i'm pretty sure most of you can relate as well <laughs> if you're in the same situation i'm in and you just feel a bit left out but yeah this is this is this was the pov of someone that's semi-knowledgeable on Yu-Gi-Oh! but not so much as well and yeah 
That was a Yugi Noobs ban list reaction to the new August ban list. Make sure to comment down below if you've been hit by this ban list. If you think this ban list was good, if you think this ban list was bad, if you would have, if you would have preferred to see any of the other cards be banned or hit, or any of the other decks be hit, any specific cards that you wanted to see be hit, and make sure to like and subscribe as well as it helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. Peace out.